Sri Lanka. Today, we embark on an adventure like none other. Like Christopher Columbus discovering the Americas. Like Louis Armstrong taking man's first step on the moon. Humanity is defined by the bread. So what's your name? <laughs> well, anyways, it's uh, 2024 and uh, it's time for some new heroes. And this is the story of four brave men who would set out against the odds Wonder to redefine the meaning of adventure. Some people call them pioneers, others call them bold, and some just call them Idiot! But whatever you call us, we set out to do what has never been done before. So today, we're about to cross Sri Lanka in a tuk-tuk. Wish us luck. Oh my god. Hey! hey. Christian, how long are we in this for? I don't know, man. We gotta cross the country. What in idiot? Yo, Christian, this is not gonna work, man. Like, Nicholas and I have all this stuff on us. This was your idea, man. Literally your idea. Hey, man. We need a lift. Sure. Idiot! 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 <laughs> All right, the tuk tuk didn't work out, but we had a plan B. All right, so the four of us are going to be going through Sri Lanka over the next five days, assuming we don't get hit by that bus. This is Muba, and Muba is Sri Lankan. And uh, basically I went to Instagram and said, hey, is anybody able to give us that local expertise? And this is the man. So you were saying you invited me to come? Yeah, back in 2019. So I'm just, what, four years late? Yeah. Okay, cool. Faster than usual. So Muba was just telling us that when you go to a Bollywood movie and it's freshly released in theaters, like the first week, you can't watch the movie because everybody's just cheering and shouting and celebrating. Why? Are people so excited by the new movie or the actors? What, what is it? They are so connected with the actors because the only entertaining factor for them is either movies or cricket, yeah? I think my favorite thing in the world is getting served up those Bollywood clips, those little highlight reels where you see some man like using a motorcycle as a weapon. It's so good. Wow, I don't know what that is, but we have just pulled over here. So Sri Lanka is a Buddhist country, and I'm gonna go ahead and make an educated guess. It's probably what we're hearing. It's beautiful. Just a little stop here at a corner store, and we're now out of Colombo and into the beautiful greenery. Like a roti. Like oh, a <laughs> yes. I'm actually pretty hungry, so this sounds great. And this is like a drive through experience, basically. No, no. You can just uh, go and sit and eat, man. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it's it was not like America, the, Justin. I thought it was like the McDonald's. You've left you know? America. Sri Lankan McDonald's. It's never hard to figure out the American. How are you today? <laughs> you weren't expecting a film crew, were you? He's with BBC. <laughs> See, this is why it's so important to travel with somebody that knows the area. I would have never stopped here. I would have blown right past it and never thought twice. Well, maybe we should try the food first before we make that judgment. Hey, Nicholas, we'll save you some. Nice and warm. Ooh, super warm. That looks spicy. You don't even have to taste it. Justin is literally coughing. It's got some kick. Yeah. Oh my god. The spice is hitting. My eyes are literally watering. So for about $2, not only do you get a meal, but you get to catch up with the latest and greatest in Sri Lankan politics. And so, our heroes, with stuffed bellies and slightly irritated bowels, began the next leg of their odyssey. Nothing could stop them now. We just got pulled over. These guys were hiding behind a tree. I don't think we were going that fast. He showed 82 and what? Well, it's 80. It's 80? We were over by two kilometers per hour and now this. 
How much? Ten dollars. Oh wow. I am never gonna financially recover from this. We should have gone a few more over. So we had to go to the post office to pay for the speeding ticket while the two police officers held on to the driver's license. So we drove all the way back to them and they were gone. I guess they went to take their lunch break. So now we're at the police station right here trying to get the driver's license back. Yes, you did. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Our first travel success of Sri Lanka. Our first stop, other than the police stop, we made it. This could have been us. Justin, me, and you, and two suitcases in this, driving for six hours. <laughs> we literally were supposed to pick up a tuk-tuk and do this whole road trip, but then we realized they can only go like 50 kilometers per hour, and they're not allowed on the highway. We would have doubled our drive times. There's always the next time. We need more than five days. So, Sri Lanka is a Buddhist country, and with that, getting a lot of the same energy and vibes that we get in Thailand. Wow, that's quite the entrance. Look at that. This is a building I've never seen before. Wow. This reminds me of like something you'd see in Alice in Wonderland. Big golden Buddha sitting over top of a Buddhist museum that has a face that will eat you as you walk inside. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Uh, are you on YouTube? My name? No, no. Oh. You're from uh, Thailand. 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 You're Thailand, yeah. yeah Thailand. I went to Chulalongkorn University. Did you just subscribe? Okay. Wow. I've... This is one of the most exciting what moments of my life. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice I to meet you. I think that might be the first monk to have ever subscribed to Lost LeBlanc. But if you're a monk and you subscribed earlier, just comment down below. Working our way up this hill because down below, that was just a sample. We're actually going to a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're almost there. I'm really happy about this travel shirt. It's like this like tie-dye print and it totally hides the fact that I am sweating profusely. The beads of sweat are forming. The humidity is through the roof right now. We're just entering into rainy season, so I'm told. For me, this is where the trip really began. This was the moment Sri Lanka transported us into a totally new world. What was hidden inside this mountain was a scene like I've never seen before. We're off to a pretty good start here, I'd say. It doesn't get any better than this. When you travel, you're always looking for those wow moments, those shock factor moments. And I feel like I'm teleported into a new world here. Built into the side of the mountain, that rock face you saw. This. It is literally like looking at the hieroglyphics in Egypt. All these ancient drawings and messages. The reason I first packed my bags and flew across the world was curiosity. I've always been curious to see the scenes, the sights, the smells and the tastes of this planet. And even eight years into travel, Mother Earth keeps on surprising me. And today was no exception. Oh my god. There's a cobra in there. Oh, there's another snake. Time to go. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> He's like, you saw the snake, now you gotta pay. <laughs> Well, after a beautiful hike, nothing is going to hit the spot like some nice wines, which we no longer have. Uh, how much are these? Perfect. Let's try this again. Thank you. Our beverage of the evening, a lion lager, some of Sri Lanka's finest. Maybe, I don't know. Now, the cool thing about exploring Sri Lanka is that it's pretty small and nothing is too far away, unless you take a tuk-tuk. But if you've got a big brain like us and take a car, this next stop is one you need to make. Welcome to Sigaria. Sagiria? Sigaria? Don't know. From what I can see, we're right at the foot of one of the most famous, iconic spots in all Sri Lanka. It's this mountain temple, the grounds around this place. I mean, it's like an enchanted forest in here. It's so beautiful. Right here, we have found the future cricket star. Nice to meet you, bro. What's your name? 
What the hell did you just say? <laughs> Things just got serious real fast. We have a cricket match about to go down here. It's me versus... Straight arm, yeah? Further. Oh, okay, okay. Good. Wow, they sent me back. They really think a lot of me here. My reputation is on the line. I'll never be able to come back to Sagaria. Sa Sa Bro, what are you talking about, man? Sigaria. I'll never come back to Sagaria if I don't get this. Oh, I almost got him. This program to bring you Pepsi made for cricket. I'm about to ruin his whole day. You see that big mountain over there? I'm sending it over. Oh, is it, this is not his first time. I sent the ball on the roof, and I was like, I've just ruined the whole village's week. Yikes, we are running out of time here. Only seven and a half hours left in the match. Nobody can do it like McDonald's can. My turn. Watch out, here he comes. Woo! That is good. <laughs> there can be only one. Too easy. You're supposed to bounce the ball. That was like a direct pitch. <laughs> You can always find the American. Uh, American. <laughs> oh, come on. That was a great pitch. Bye-bye. I think we just experienced one of the most Sri Lankan things of all time. The local lady was telling us to turn back, probably head to our hotel. She's like, it's getting dark. The elephants will be out soon. <laughs> and that sounds like the number one reason not to go back to the hotel. Here we are. Cheers, guys. Day one in the books. Cheers. Gavin! We got here just in time and guys look at this place. For just $75 a night we are here at Sajaria Hotel and this is beautiful. They've got some live music over there and we're about to check into our rooms. But let me show you the ultimate deal. Just one chip. That's it right there. Buy two beers, get loaded fries for free. And tomorrow morning, I think the rock face is gonna be right there. Oh, that's so good. Our double bed are together, Justin. Uh, so nice. <laughs> and then we want to be snuggle buddies. <laughs> guys oh that hike was so tough this morning really was. that was a really hard one I put on my hiking shoes and I just kept climbing okay we might not have hiked this morning but I had one of my most poetic mornings ever just waking up here to this very beautiful slow paced sunrise you can hear all the crickets you can hear the birds it's like perfection right now and the drone shots I just captured are in my highlight reel for sure. Some of the best shots I've ever gotten. There's a really beautiful energy to Sigaria. To be honest, I don't regret taking the viewpoint from down here. But if you do the hike, I've actually been told the best view isn't from this rock, it's from the secondary rock right here. Sometimes it's better to be next to the subject than to be on top of it. This place is a catch. The food's been really good. Ambiance. I don't think you'll find many other places like this here. Is your sundress in here? Like, dude, this thing is heavy. Even Ruby's stuff is lighter. Nah, she was 32 kilos. <laughs> he likes to get pretty on the weekends. Should we just finish it? Yeah, no, no. What time is it? It's 
10 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> That's the digital nomad dream right there, folks. Make anywhere your office. Nine to five. Yeah. What a joke. <laughs> One of the greatest blessings of my life is you and this channel. Being able to see the world has literally been my childhood dream. And to have turned that into a career is something my youngest self would have never even imagined possible. But it didn't start that way. It started with a chapter in my life where I was held down by anxiety and stress. And I remember just how hard it was to manage those feelings. And maybe that's how you feel today. Stressed, anxious, unsure of how to make 2024 count. And one of the things that's been helpful for even me in the hard times is talking to someone, talking to a professional. And today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp, it's basically like an online therapist. You can do it through a video chat, a phone call, and because BetterHelp has over 30,000 therapists, it means that you'll have no problem finding one that's in your region, your time zone, and most of all, one that's the right fit for you. I've talked to a few therapists, and in the past, they've not been the right fit, but when I found the right one, it made all the difference. And so BetterHelp actually has this questionnaire form that allows you to checkbox all the different things that allow them to understand you, and then they do their very best to match you with the right person. It usually takes about 48 hours to get matched with a therapist, but if they didn't quite get it right, no problem. With the click of a button and no additional cost, you can change your therapist until you find the right one. Join the over 4 million people that are using BetterHelp and using that link down in the description, you'll also get 10% off your first month and see for yourself how talking to the right person can help you build a better tomorrow. Back to Sri Lanka. You're good. No, no. You wanna, you wanna join us? Hop on in. Oh, you are from YouTube. YouTube. I'm recording with my friend uh, to YouTube too. Last year in Thailand we are looking for spiders, snakes, uh, scorpions and other stuff. And I'm looking for friendships. <laughs> We're not so different. Safe travels fellow backpacker. Bye. May he find many spiders and scorpions and snakes. A noble mission. So we've had our crackers, we've had our sweet coffee. Now we're on our way to try and find us. Uh, who are we trying to find? Tribes. Tribes. People nice. of the forest. People of the forest. Mysterious. I know. It's like me. Their tribe name actually translates to people, people of, of the, the forest. forest. How do you say it in? Uh, wet ass. Wet ass. Wet ass. So we're we're on our way to find the wet ass. But the problem is we have no internet and no idea where to go. So Muba is our fearless leader. He has no idea. He's almost like a cartographer. Like we may as well have a sundial at this point. You really don't even know where they are. Yeah, no, but... Okay. No idea. This could either be a horrible use of our time or the most epic thing yet. But either way, we're committed. <laughs> Joseph, could you translate? Want a cookie? Lemon. You're welcome. Everybody's stopping us. <laughs> Everyone's like, you must have a guy. <laughs> He's the second boss. He's gonna sit on your lap, Justin. That's the only seat left. Alright, what are we doing? Pick him up! Take a seat. Come on in. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the village we go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so, tell us about so, yourself. So, so what's your name? Uh, Vigiato. Ah. Uh, huh. Hopefully it's not too bumpy of a road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting music on, it's getting weird in here. And so, our fearless heroes embarked on a side quest like none other. Down this bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road would be an experience that would forever change the minds, the hearts, and the souls of these great pioneers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm driving next time. <laughs> We've been through some stuff together, man. It's close to my heart. I love how we brought him as a translator. He doesn't speak English. I think he's from this village. <laughs> I think he I just know. wanted to lift home. He just wanted to lift. <laughs> to sit on you. So what's kind of fun about this trip right now through Sri Lanka is it's kind of like a return to my old backpacker days. 2015 to 2016, 
You would go to places knowing very little about where you were headed, but you were just open to experiencing. And that's basically what happened here. We rocked up in this village, have no idea what's going on, but we're learning how cool this place is. 37,000 years of history, so they claim, and they say nothing has changed. The traditions they used to practice are the ones they still practice today. And this right here is the eldest son of the leader. We're hoping to meet the leader. So right now they're discussing the price of the show. They're like, do you want to see us do the dances and all the stuff? And they're like, talking amongst each other, like, what should we charge them? <laughs> How much do we think we can make? <laughs> so I think they've come to a conclusion because it got awkwardly quiet. We had one guy come in, he started the negotiations. We have uh, our man who we brought from the village, who's communicating to Muba. Muba communicates to us. We then got a price, they wanted $150 for like a little presentation, so we said no. Offered them one fifth of that, then it went back down the communication telephone chain. He's now gone into the village to go negotiate and talk to the leaders. And now we, we, we wait and see if we have a deal. We think we've closed the deal. They're bringing us somewhere. Uh, so they have like 10 activities they wanted to show us. Because we didn't pay the $150, it's now down to three activities. Uh, Want to share a seat? I'm starting to think we need to upgrade our package. Oh, uh, now the gift shop comes up. No time's wasted. The show is over, the gift shop is open. These guys run a funnel like I've never seen before in my life. Efficiency. It was worth every penny. This is a 10,000 well spent. Okay. Love it. Ah, uh, no, just thank you. Thank you. How do you top that? <laughs> we take you home. <laughs> let's take him a bit. Let's take him a little bit more. <laughs> Just see how much. Let's, let's see how far we drive <laughs> until you. You do? Let's go. You should add random dudes. Because <laughs> 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 you gotta win this guy. Take him up! On the mic. On the mic. On the mic. On the mic. Apparently, it just means all right. I thought it would mean something a little more spiritual, but. So we are now in the mountainous city of Badula. Very, very beautiful place. I'm loving Sri Lanka. There's so much to experience, and I feel like we're just at the very beginning of our trip. And right now, we're headed to the number one rated restaurant of all of Badula. Cheers, guys. Chicken tikka masala and pizza, combo made in heaven. Wouldn't have known that if we hadn't given pizza how to try. Today's video sponsor. We had to jump out. Look at this. Those are the fun little chaotic moments of travel. You never know what you're gonna get, and that was that was very unexpected. We 
found the best hotel we could find in the area and uh, it looked quite nice. Well, we called them and they're like, yeah, we're gonna have to clean up the room. Uh, shouldn't take us more than 20 minutes. And then we get here, 20 minutes goes by, 40 minutes goes by, 60 minutes go by, almost an hour and a half later. Travel is one of those things where it has incredible highs and sometimes it can be a little tiring. And I know right now I would love to tuck myself into bed after a nice shower, but we're gonna have to wait a little longer. The room's not ready. <laughs> so apparently he said there's a nice piece of this here. <laughs> I guess someone has to sleep together. <laughs> we literally called and we're like, oh my god, this story is not even worth explaining, but we literally called to make sure we had separated beds and they said yes. <laughs> hey Justin, our room's ready. This is ours. This is gonna be so cute. Good night. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello. For three people, second class, to Ella. Train starting. Today, train. Oh! Oh my god, it's happening! Bye, Justin! Three days ago, I was living my best life in the Maldives. My first overwater bungalow experience. I basically had Mark Zuckerberg sliding in my DMs. Today, I'm becoming a full-blown Instagrammer. Taking the blue train where everybody gets their bangers when they come to Sri Lanka. Apparently people use it to get around too, but uh, I don't know. You ever taken a selfie before? Yeah. Nice. You know what this is? Uh, what is this? This is a three meter selfie. Do you want to try it with me later today? Yeah, yeah. Let's get a selfie together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Would love that. Three coffees, please. Three coffees. Yes, please. Ah. As long, one condition. What? We get a selfie together. It's hot, no problem. Hot coffee. You have a deal. With sugar? With sugar. Ah, okay. Although you're sweet enough. See? <laughs> Okay, now this, this is pretty freaking epic. Whoop! <laughs> Look at this! Ah! We're living! Are you kidding me, dude? The fog, the mist, what a scene. You know that expression, safety first? It doesn't exist here. I think I would stay on. That was really fun. Ella is easily one of the most talked about travel destinations in all Sri Lanka. This mountainous region is famous for its hikes, but easily the most famous hike is right here. Now for those of you that aren't satisfied with having risked your lives only on the train, you can also go do it on the train track. Two for one, that's my kind of deal. Came just from down there to up here to the breakfast DJ set. Mm. Kind of a hidden gem actually. You have to take this really steep clay pathway to get up. It's not where most people are going. Now don't get me wrong. Walking down a muddy path to get some FPV shots of a bunch of arches, well, it's pretty neat and all, but I'm built different. I'm a bold traveler. And today I would become a local. But first, I had to find a local that would invite me into the inner society. And as fate would have it, I found my man. Meet Peter. Ella's pride and joy, and a tuk-tuk driver with zero ducks to give. You're a million. 
After absolutely no training, I was ready. Like a baby bird taking its first flight, I too began my circle of life moment as I turned the key and set that tuk-tuk free. Dude, what is going on? There's monkeys, wild dogs, buses, waterfalls, and a long pole. And I'm talking about that pole. After some serious rains, we made it to the truly remarkable Kura Ravana waterfall. Ain't she a beaut? Mountains, waterfalls, amazing people. And we're having the best time right now. Like, so much fun. Just pure chaos, pure excitement, pure no idea what's happening next. We probably won't hike up to the top of Ella Rock given the conditions, but let me show you what it would be like. Basically something like that. But instead, we got to make lifelong friends and I wouldn't trade that in for any hike. <laughs> I'm worried that we should, we should probably tell Peter at the end of the day what it means. I'm worried he'll start saying it to other guests. <laughs> Imagine his next group like, that was funny. he's like, everybody loves this word. They always laugh. <laughs> Peter, what's the best Sri Lankan food in the area? Allah. In Allah. Allah. Real food. Can you take us? Yeah, yeah. We can. I can take it. All right, let's go eat. Yeah. literal definition of hole in the wall. This is where Peter told us to come and it's actually a vibe. Super cool. Oh, nice beer. There we go. A truly authentic Sri Lankan meal. Cheese kotu, tikka masala, chapati, prawns. It's so good. Peter, this is amazing. You chose the right place. Best meal of Sri Lanka. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's the chef. Legend. Yeah. These are the moments of travel that you just can't plan for, but you gotta be open to them. Thank you so much, Peter. You are amazing. Idiot! <laughs> travel isn't about the location, it's about the people. And this travel day was so full of laughs and memories I'll never forget, thanks to a few epic people. Ella, you were great, but back on the road we went as we headed down south to a side of Sri Lanka you won't believe. Welcome to Yala National Park. So everybody knows you can do a safari in Africa, but did you know you can do one in Sri Lanka? This is one of the things that has gotten me most excited to visit this beautiful country. I didn't think... One sec. It's a bit too early. It's a, bit, it's a bit early, isn't it? Yeah, is I mean, why can't the elephants just get up a little later, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited. Here's the vehicle. Let's go. So, I actually didn't do a whole lot of research as to what kind of animals live here. I think that's the fun of it. Just kind of go out, explore, and see what we see. <laughs> Considering there's a missing shoe there, I'm a little worried. <laughs> Is that from the last guide? Last, yeah, last YouTuber who came here. Well, <laughs> he died doing what he loves. I hope. <laughs> we have VIP access because we have uh, online tickets. Do they not have internet? So this morning we're being shown around by Kasun here, and Kasun, what should we expect to see today? What are we hoping to see? Yala is very famous uh, for leopards, so our, our primary uh, target is to uh, find a leopard. But apart from leopard, there can be so many beautiful things. So let's enjoy everything, every minute of this. That sounds like a good plan. Beautiful. Crikey, mate. What we see here, mate? If you look very really close, you see a, a crocky, crocodile. He's sitting here right above the mud hole, waiting for the white-tailed deer to come in, take a little sippy sip of the water. <laughs> Steve Irwin from Wish. 
Look at it literally open for us. Wow. This beautiful peacock just came and landed and then Nicholas was like, imagine if it opened up and then... So in the tree here are these birds that make their own custom homes, basically their own Las Villas, to try and get laid. And with rising property costs, I mean, this is, an, this is not an easy market to pick up a mate. I'd rather just flex my tail feathers. Peacocks have it easy, to be honest. That's true. Guys, we see our first little peaky peak of a big one. Now, the thing that makes Yala so famous is that it's home to one of the healthiest populations of leopards in the world. And after a few hours driving around to find them, well, we didn't see them. But we saw these guys. This experience was a true throwback to my two months spent traveling East Africa, and I really had no idea this even existed in Sri Lanka. But the game drive was just the start of a world-class day. Let me show you one of the most incredible hotels of our entire planet. Wow. This is Wild Coast Tented Lodge. Now just as incredible as the game drive is where we're staying. And it so perfectly gives us that missing part to our Sri Lankan trip. We're right on the Indian Sea getting that full kind of scope and look into the Sri Lankan landscapes. I'll give you a tour. <laughs> that was my worst one yet. I think one of the funnest things, is that a word, funnest, most fun? Most fun things of being on the road is I've been able to see a lot of different hotels and this is going down as stylistically one of my favorites. I have one style that immediately captures my heart and it's when architecture blends into its landscape. These beautiful hotel rooms are so unimposing, they actually almost enhance this incredible coastline. This is the room. It's uh, basically like a tent almost like Tarzan and Jane, old school, British colonial style. Everything's kind of made with these like, almost like copper pipes. So it's got a really distinct style. Little reveal, this is the shower. Uh, we've got his and tonight his sink. Justin and I are sharing a room. Last night our feet touched in bed, it was a bit weird. That's the room, let's go eat. Hey guys. Hello. Wow. I've seen two things like that before, but uh, usually a little smaller. Anyways, we're going on a little picnic adventure. Just a little romantic outing with the boys. So we are now venturing off away from the protected territory of the hotel, and we're walking the coast into the national park. And uh, we're united again with our fearless guide. Oh my God, a dingo. Should I be concerned? No. Okay. Hello, hello. Unlike the US Army, we do leave men behind. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at you guys! Oh man, what an epic way to end our last day in Sri Lanka. The most beautiful sunset with the most beautiful coastline. Three new amigos. Oh, and the guys too. Right now, I'm living in one of those moments that you just wish you could hit the pause button on and live in for. This is such a beautiful part of Sri Lanka and I'm so glad because I wasn't even sure if we were going to get to see the coast. But in the end, we've seen waterfalls, we've seen mountains, we've seen the sandy coast. This trip has given me such a deep appreciation for Sri Lanka and I don't think people talk about it enough. I think it's actually an underrated destination. I'm just going to enjoy these final moments and sign off here. Sri Lanka, absolutely a gem. And something tells me I'll be back someday soon. If you want to see more fun, raw adventures like this one, hit the subscribe button. And let's get lost again in the next one. Almost fell. Gee, it really could pave this area.